An interesting polymer is one called water lock, which is in this container. It's actually sodium polyacrylate. And I'm going to take about two thirds of a spoonful and put it into the beaker. The second beaker is filled with water. So I'll just pour that into the beaker. And notice that the water itself has become completely trapped in the polymer. Here's my polymer. The water itself is almost rigid. The sodium polyacrylate forms a gel that ties up the water so that it becomes almost like a solid. Sodium polyacrylate is also one of the chemicals that is used in diapers. And if we take a diaper and pull it apart, we find here a material which is rather absorbent. We'll tear that up and put it into a beaker. So we'll just break some of that up into a beaker. Keep in mind that the that there's a little bit more than just the polyacrylate in the beaker, in the uh, diaper. We'll then add some water to that and observe what happens as the material is absorbed. It takes a little while for the water to swell the absorbent material and make it into kind of a semi-salt. So let that stand for a few minutes. So notice that after standing for about two minutes, all of the water is absorbed and we uh, have no longer any liquid water present. It's all absorbed in the absorbent material. And that's why the diapers are so effective at trapping the water, the urine. And uh, keep in mind, of course, that the urine is released usually in small amounts, and so the absorbent material has time to absorb it and convert it to a semi-solid state, as in a gel like this.